Now, one of the things that we are seeing coming from the new energy vehicle market in China is that many more other EV cars are following also NIO's footsteps. These are the footsteps of producing their chips in-house. I mean, NIO, you will know that the breakthrough that they have announced this year is when they started installation of the Shenji NX9031 chip which is their autonomous in-house developed chip um, early this year. I mean, ET9 was the first model to use this chip. Or in fact, it uses two of these chips. And the output or the power of this chip is compared to four NVIDIA Orange chips, which is something that is so great. Now, Xpeng, on the other hand, they've also launched a chip or an autonomous driving chip called Touring, right? Now, this Touring, apparently its power, it can be compared to three NVIDIA chips. So, by just that, you can agree that, of course, um, Shenji autonomous driving chip by NIO is still powerful than, of course, Xpeng uh, Touring chip that they are using. By the way, on the G7, G7 is the new model that Xpeng launched and they are using this Touring chip or in-house build autonomous driving chip which is something that of course is good for them but something to note is that Shenji is still the most powerful right because as soon as you notice that uh, in terms of uh, uh, when you compare right the process node Shenji is using 5 nm and the uh, touring it's unspecified the computing power for Shenji Neos autonomous driving chip is 1016 tops equivalent to four NVIDIA or Ring chips whilst the top or the computing power for Xpeng uh, Touring chip it's 700 tops right so you can see the the two they they, they, are, they are quite they, there's quite a difference between the two chips right now the AI model uh, support for Neo it has not been disclosed but for Xpeng it's up to 30B parameters right the first vehicle to use neos autonomous in-house chip or model is the neo et9 which started deliveries around march then you've got the g7 the which is the first model that is using expand touring chip software integration you will know that what is making neo or what is making uh, this uh, autonomous driving chip to fully function well onto neo cars is the operating system that Neo Launch called SkyOS, right? It is the one that is uh, helping or an open source that is helping Neo do very well. But then Xpeng software integration, they are using XNGP Highway Autonomy, right? CT or Highway Autonomy. This is what, what they are using. But obviously the most important thing, by the way, someone just sent me a text or a message to say that they would like to to me to do a video comparing the two chips which is why i decided to do to do this video right so xpeng touring chip or autonomous touring chip in terms of power it's it still fall short or fall short from the neo shenji and x9031 chip autonomous chip and it is something that i think it should be noted and it shows you that once again you cannot really compare Neo with some of the EV makers out there because Neo makes sure that they are up here whilst the others are here, right? And I'm not saying Xpeng chip is bad. Xpeng chips, it's uh, I suppose it's very good, right? I'm not bad mouthing, but I'm just comparing the two chips, right? I'm just comparing the two chips in terms of power, in terms of what they use and all that and the models that are currently using these chips. I mean, for Xpeng, in terms of the performance that comes with this chip, I think we'll see it more when the G7, is, more of the G7 cars are on the streets of China, right? Because on NIO, you know now that there are five cars that are using the Shenji NX autonomous driving chip, right? The ET9 was the first model, then followed by the ES6, EC6, then ET5 Touring, ET5 Mid Sedan. These are the five models that are currently using, of course, the NEOS autonomous driving chip. And I can tell you now, this chip for NEO has opened the floodgates. And the, 
the, the good thing is that Neo is saying, look, you don't have to start from scratch if you want an autonomous driving chip or if you are trying to develop your own autonomous driving chip because they know that for these other, for most of the EV cars to develop a chip like theirs, it's going to be difficult. So they are saying, you can come and buy our chip and use our chip. But obviously what Neo said is that, uh, but obviously what Neo said is they want to start using it first on their models before they take it out to the masses. So those that are interested already should be talking to Neo about using the Shenji NX9031 chip that Neo developed in-house. It's important that we note that in-house, which is a massive major breakthrough for Neo. So I am happy, man. I am excited. Blue sky is coming. Long term will win. Those that are persevering throughout the head use the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time. Uh, it takes me some time to make videos like this. And all I ask from you is to give it a thumbs up so that at least you can be notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content. I remain long, I remain strong because I know that we shall be rewarded. Weeping may endure for a night, by, but joy comes in the morning. That is a, a, a verse from the Bible, right? So we shall be rewarded. I am not panicking. I think things should open up for NEO very, very soon. And we get to see also the share price of NEO recovering, going to where it's supposed to be. Like I said, it would be good to see NEO deliveries for July going over 30,000 deliveries. And this is a... Uh, the the 5,100 insurance registrations we saw, that, that's, a, that's a good start. We can expect more, we can expect a much better month than compared to the 25,000 uh, or the almost 25,000 deliveries we saw from the month of June. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that at least you, you'll be notified by YouTube. I remain long, I remain strong. That is all from me, my dear friends. I will see you on the next one. Oh, and like I said, I'm going to be loading uh, sometime this week, but it won't be the big, it won't be the, 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 the massive loading that I've been talking about. That other massive loading probably will happen towards the end of this month because I was doing my calcs, I was, uh, I was checking my payments and whatnot. Apparently it might come towards the end of the month. And then when it comes, I go in heavy. I load the boat. Somewhere between 300,000 shares is what I'm looking at. But knowing myself is that obviously, yeah, who knows? I might be closer to a thousand shares in terms of acquiring. I might purchase almost a thousand shares. But let's wait. Let's see. The thing that is making me to say 301,000 is because there are also other plans that I want to use uh, the money for, right? But I will see. I will see if I, I, I can't sacrifice. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one, my dear friends. And God bless you all.